gems present around my nail area and on the back of my hands. To avoid touching your face, your mouth, your nose and your eyes as this is a possible route of the virus to enter and cause infection. If you cough or sneeze and you don't put your hand to your mouth and you touch surfaces, the virus can survive for several hours outside the body so it's important that you wash your hands effectively um, to prevent transmission of the virus from person to person. Sweating my hands. Take some soap, create a lava, clean the back of your hands, in between your fingers, the end of your fingers, your thumb, again your palms, your wrist and the top of your hand again. Rinse the soap off with water. Turn off the tap with the tissue to prevent cross-contamination. And then you discard of the tissue into a bin. As you can see, as I've done the thorough hand washing under the UV light, there is no sign of the germs present on my hand. As you can see, you have got UV fluorescing um, indicating germs are present around my nail area and on the back of my hands from not washing my hands effectively. A lot of people are worrying about coronavirus. Well, we see a lot of people with masks and I don't yeah. want to get sick and I think, do I really need to go out? But for most people, if you catch coronavirus, it'll be mild. But for some, coronavirus could be really serious. These are mostly older people and people with underlying health conditions. Things like asthma, diabetes and heart disease. Good news is you can protect yourself and the NHS says you should do these things. Even if you're not likely to be seriously affected by coronavirus, you may pass it on to someone who could be. Number one, wash your hands more. The more you wash your hands, the less likely you are to spread the virus to other people. So if you've been out in a public place, on a bus or a train, wash your hands as soon as you can afterwards and properly wash your hands. So that takes about 20 seconds to get them really clean, focusing on all parts of your hand, not just your palm, backs of hands, around the nails, in between the fingers, wrists and your thumb and use soap and water. And when you're done, turn the tap off using a tissue and put it in the bin. Antibacterial gels do work, but soap and water is best. Number two, avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth, because that's the way the virus could get into your body. You can still touch your face, but only if you've washed your hands before. Number three, catching your coughs and sneezes. Experts think coronavirus is spread by droplets that come out of your nose and mouth. So when you sneeze or cough, catch them with disposable tissues, then bin it and, and wash, wash your hands. hands. Disposable tissues are better than handkerchiefs that you carry around with you all the time. If you don't have a tissue, sneeze or cough into the crook of your elbow. <clears throat> that way the germs are away from your hands and you're less likely to pass them on unless you greet people using your elbow. Don't touch things with your hands if you don't have to. The less you touch things like surfaces, handrails, lift buttons, the less likely you are to catch the virus or indeed spread it on. Number four, stay away from people who are ill. If people are unwell, don't get too close to them. The closer you get, the more likely you are to catch something. Apart from that, you should go about your life as normal. That means you should go to work, go to school and see your friends. Unless you've been told not to by your doctor or the NHS 111 coronavirus service. And when it comes to traveling, check with the foreign office before you plan to go. Now, it's important to say that there's no evidence that you can catch coronavirus from letters, parcels or food. And these things won't work when it comes to treating coronavirus. UV light, antibiotics, garlic and saline solution. As for masks, they're important when people are in very close contact with patients. But there's very little evidence that masks are helpful in everyday life. If you've been coughing or you have a high temperature or you're short of breath, you may have the symptoms of coronavirus, but you don't necessarily have coronavirus. But if you think you may do, don't go anywhere, especially not the hospital, pharmacy or doctors. Instead, phone your doctor. Or use the online NHS 111 coronavirus service. And they'll be the ones who can tell you what you should do next.